Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your daily reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Aquarius, this entire reading is about someone, one of you out there, two of you, a million of you, I don't know, you have dreams that you want to come into fruition, that you want to bring into institution, but you're fearful. You're fearful. You don't know how to manifest this. You don't know if it will manifest for you. Some of you are just not knowing how to change your life. You want change. You want opportunity for growth, um, but you don't know how to go about it. And then there's just fear associated with making a move. It's like the person who's been in their job for years or been at a, a certain career for years and they just don't know how to make a move to the next career. That's what the entire reading is about. The cards want you to um, don't let your past hold you back. Okay, I've been doing this for years. I don't know how to change. I don't know what to do. I want to start a business. I don't know what business to start. I mean, you have to get moving on something says the cards because then you have it's time to take action new moon and aries aries is all about that fiery passion they have an idea they move on the idea they're all about action um it's just time to release the negativity of what happened in the past what didn't happen um maybe with a scorpio i don't know um you need to have some transitional energy happen in your life you need to transition from oh this always happens like this or this happened to me or i'm worried if this will happen or that'll happen or if i won't get it you gotta release the fears you know fear will hold you back it will stall you it will stagnate you it doesn't help you grow it does keep us safe at times of, of course we know we don't want to walk in a dark forest alone at night by ourselves we, so we have a sense of fear of what will happen and that keeps us safe but Fear also holds you back from growth. So some of you need to release the fears. And for some of you, you're like manifesting like crazy. Take time to breathe out. Um, some of you, you're trying to jump the timeline or push the timeline forward faster than um, what the universe is trying to bring into you because you have white sage here. And it talks about, this card talks about um, Stop forcing it. Don't force anything. The universe is already working it out for you. Basically what this card talks about, you're a wise soul. You don't miss a beat. You see things that other people can't see, don't see, don't want to see. Um, just understand that everything is about patience and time. And yes, it's easy to say have patience. It's hard to actually have it, right? Um, it's funny because you have 22 and 23 together free spirit and and then white sage free spirit talks about what we were just talking about some of you have dreams you want to pursue it i don't know how to do it you have all of these different excuses or things that are holding you back we'll say that um you want to go after something if you just allow yourself to fall wow the bottom of the deck you have the fool card um if you will just allow yourself to take that leap of faith you know with the fool card there is um a level of or an aspect of beginner's luck associated with the fool card so this is the universe see you jumping off of that ledge or taking that leap there therefore we have you we got you you know we'll have you to a certain extent of course you need to have some plan you need to be logical blah 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 you need to do all that stuff but there's a, a level of beginner's faith if you just take the leap if you just move we'll move uh, when you move, we move just like that ludicrous. Okay. You know, if you don't move, then the universe doesn't move. It isn't the other way around. The universe isn't moving, um, all around you. And then you all of a sudden have some epiphany that the universe is just moving and trying to get you to do. No, this is your life. You're having the experience. You're a co-creator in your existence. Get moving, do something. Um, it's time to take action, says the cards, not me. I'm just reading them, right? Um, so you have some idea you want to embark on. The Fool card talks about maybe even having a pipe dream. What others would deem as a pipe dream and wanting to just follow your heart no matter how foolish it may seem. You need to just go ahead and do it. You only have one life. We got Earth Mother. This talks about protection. It talks about the universe 
uh, offering you protection for whatever it is you're doing, how you're doing it. Um, it says that um, you're wrapped in. E e we understand that your dreams, you are as a person vulnerable. That's why she's wrapped in leaves. The earth is so vulnerable to every day's a lot of changes and challenges that we, you know, we, uh, we offer the earth. And the, this card talks about even with all the challenges that human beings place upon the earth, the earth still thrives. It still moves. It's still, um, it's still turning. It's still going. We're still here. And they want you to be more like that. You know, shit has happened to you or is happening to you. You also may have felt ungrounded, you know, emotionally unstable at times, um, maybe in your recent past here. So just get yourself grounded here. Go out into the universe and to, excuse me. Yeah, go out to the universe. Um, go out to the, you know, in the earth. Go out into in earth's elements. Um, take a walk if you can. Um, go to the beach if you can do whatever you need to do but be where you can make, connect with the earth okay so if that is taking a walk if that is going to a beach if that is um maybe getting around plants you know getting around plants to where because there are leaves here where you get there's an element of something else that is alive around you outside of a human being you know get into nature that's going to ground you it's going to put you to a place of understanding that you are vulnerable and you are protected yeah you need to definite wow you got all of the earth cards you need to get out in the earth don't be root don't ruthlessly pursue a dream a scheme some money making type of situation allow things to come to you understand that the universe is working on your behalf some of you could be doing earth magic or using the earth to manifest some of you are concerned about your health your well-being great you should be maybe even your home life a level of luxury that you want to bring into yourself and maybe even others or a child so this the queen of pentacles also says make time for loved ones it says it's a very luck, lucky and fertile time in your life very nice it says that maybe you might even be coming into a more serious relationship someone may be choosing you or, or vice versa you're choosing them some of you could be pregnant or wanting to get pregnant some of you are pregnant with the idea the inception of you know um maybe a new business, a new way of thinking, um, something that you have to offer the world, the universe. Some of you are natural witches, okay? You're born witches for some of you. Um, some of you, yeah, again, nothing gets past you. You see a lot, you understand a lot. You, um, you're very mysterious at this time because you got a lot going on with you behind the scenes. There's a lot of growth happening for you the universe is speaking to some of you directly um you, you're kind of elusive you may even be you may come off that way to other people it's like answering questions with questions if someone says how are you today you say how are you it's it, you know it, it, it may even come instinctual to you it's, it's it's instinct you know you just you're more so concerned about other people or not giving information too freely some of you you need to be quiet about what you're doing and how you're doing it some of you need to learn balance in terms of masculine and feminine energy go look it up do your own research about it some of you are acting too much in your masculine and some of you are too feminine to where there is no creation you're not creating anything you just keep showing up to shit i don't know that was for somebody you got good news coming into you again some of you this is the initial stage of starting something new maybe even a business you're going to have help in your business promotion prosperity people are going to see you on your high horse because this is what you have been manifesting living life on your own terms doing what you want to do how you want to do it when you want to do it this is what you've been manifesting you put it out there in the universe is all of a sudden wow going to offer you something solid and stable again you're getting a lot of energy to keep your plans to yourself there might even need to be some revision of plans um, you need to do something in secret 
might need to move some money around, especially if people have access to bank account or banking information or profit and loss statements or your, this talks about paperwork. And while you have another paperwork card behind that, you need to keep your plans to yourself. If you're doing business with friends or other, if you have investors or partnerships, something about closed mouths, everybody doesn't need to know. You get another card of self-centeredness and uh, self-direction and focus. Maybe even moving away into a more solo. Like some of you need to might, if you are in partnerships, you might need to get out of partnerships. The cards are prompting you to get to a more like solo um, uh, business. Or for some of you, this might even be the universe kind of prompting you. You already having the idea that you want to move towards maybe working for yourself. You want to get out of a corporation or a group setting. Some of you, this will just be moving, maybe even purchasing real estate. It's some good news coming into some of you. It's going to rock your world here. It's going to allow you to travel, move, purchase real estate, do something off the cuff, off the whim, maybe even take loved ones out, treat loved ones. This is monumental. This is a contract coming into you. This is the initial stages of creation, creating something that you have been working on for a very long time. Don't become despondent and cut off and emotionally withdrawn because the universe is offering you opportunity to start something new. This is for some of you who want to start something new and there's fear associated with it and you just don't know how to do it. And I'm, okay, so um, knowledge. Okay, when you, when you are not confident about something, it's because you have a lack of knowledge. It's as if someone will come to you or me let's say we have no knowledge of how to fix a transmission on a car and someone says well can you go fix the transmission you say well i don't feel confident fixing the transmission on the car why don't you feel confident because i don't have knowledge of fixing the transmission if you don't feel confident in starting your own business it's because you don't have knowledge of starting your own business so go get some knowledge therefore you can have more confidence they go hand in hand okay it's it's, it's just like when someone says you know i don't feel confident in um you know getting out there and talking to people why don't you feel confident because i don't know how to talk to people okay so you need to go get knowledge of how to you know start conversation uh make conversation uh, you need to learn to read the room. You need to learn to read bodily in, you know, energy or movements, knowledge, confidence, they go hand in hand. So I get a lot of people coming to me wanting readings and they want to know, um, should I start a business? What kind of business should I start? What, what could, I don't know how to do the, Okay. These are all practical questions that you can as you hear on YouTube right now, you can go on YouTube and learn how to start a business. You can go on YouTube and learn how to jump from one career to the to the next. Everything doesn't have to be like overnight or immediate. It can be gradual, make gradual baby steps towards whatever your plans are. Um, maybe I need to make some more practical videos like that um, in terms of you know stuff like that. I don't know, because I get a lot of questions about that. So. And some of this stuff is just practical. It's it's not spiritual. It's not hocus pocus. You need to, you know, practice. You need to marry spirituality and practicality. You know, you got to be practical. So anyhow, for some of you, this is what this reading is about. It's great. You got phenomenal cards. Some of you, you just really resting in fear. You need to let it go. You also, some of you are resting in fear of not finding a love partner. So therefore you stick with whom you have. Cause you're unsure if you'll find someone else that's fear also and it's stagnation so you might need to figure that out for yourself also this is what i have for you i hope that it resonates if it does let me know how it resonates for us let's put some um some x's down in the comment yeah x x we're gonna x out fear x we, we don't want any fear we don't want any stagnation in our life we're manifesting new lives we're taking that leap of faith. Um, we're get, gaining knowledge, okay? Uh, we're we're going to be confident. Put some confidence down. Put confidence all down in the comment section. So if there are people out there 
Aquarius or anyone coming to the reading who is lacking confidence, they can see all that, all those different confidence coming from all these different people and they can feel more confident. They can manifest more confidence and get the knowledge they need to be confident. So we're going to put confidence or I am confident or whatever, however you want to uh, relay the message to your fellow Aquarians and yourself, put confidence down in the comment section or confidence down in the com comment section. We're also going to put some X's down there. We're Xing out fear. We're Xing out all these excuses. We're just getting moving in our life. Okay. What do you have to lose in terms of, I mean, what's the alternative? Never trying, never doing it. What are we going to put on your obituary one day? She had a lot of dreams. He had a lot of dreams fulfilled none of them come on let's get out here let's do it we can do it all right um so exes and confidence all right confidence and exit out fear confidence and exit out fear and if you feel like this reading resonated for you you want to get your own personal reading maybe to drill down on some issues that you need to kind of work on within yourself for yourself then go over to the website book your own reading there um, you can also ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can also uh, come learn the Tarot with me. Yep, Tarot classes are linked below. Thank you, Aquarius. Have a really good day. Many blessings to you.